Suarez started the game at the Camp Nou asking his teammates to move the ball faster. He was specially motivated. He was telling them what to do and they did so. He was giving constant orders and instructions. Just listen to him. But the ball wasn't arriving to him. He was going from one side to the other, covering spaces to avoid Barcelona touching with fluency. When he saw the chance, he tried to pressure to steal the ball. So much effort had its consequences. We could see images like this in every single corner kick, and not only on set pieces. When Atleti was attacking, Piqué was the man in charge to cover him. He was following him everywhere. He was so on top of him, Suarez felt Piquet's coverage on his face. The Catalan defender was denying anything happened, and the Uruguayan was asking him for an explanation, and he did so for a while. By the way, when Suarez doesn't understand something, he makes that very clear, especially to the referee. And to the linesman too. Take a look at this, Suarez tried a header and he hit Ter Stegen's hand. He was crawling on the floor when the goalkeeper asked him not to behave like that. The Uruguayan didn't like those words at all and literally told the German to leave him alone and to not be a snake oil salesman. Ter Stegen tried to explain him what was happening but Piquet had to end that discussion. It's obvious there are no former teammates on the pitch, only rivals. But if one of those rivals is Busquets lying down after banging his head with Savic, Suarez quickly shows some concern. Aleti was arriving with danger but the ball wasn't arriving to Suarez. Sometimes he was asking for explanations, others he was getting desperate. But despite that, he kept cheering up his teammates. This was his only shot on target on that first half, no problems for Ter Stegen there. The second half started with another shot on target by Suarez. And take a look at how the Uruguayan wants to win his position in a corner kick. It's just a battle. On this case, De Jong was his victim. When the play finished, it's just like nothing happened. Atleti weren't as good as they had been on the previous 45 minutes and Suarez was feeling uncomfortable. His claims and protests hadn't changed though. And his regrets either. He suffered during the last minute with Barca enjoying some chances but the result didn't move. After the game he hugged his former teammates and his current teammates and ended going towards the dressing room with his compatriot Araujo.